All right, this is going to be a demo of how to use the Big Boom directory. And specifically, we're going to be using this directory plugin to create a species guide for a lumber company. And so we're going to start this process. Uh, right now, up on the screen, I have the Big Boom directory plugin page. And we could download it here, uh, but we're, what we're actually going to do is, is go into the website and I'm going to walk through this process. So here I am on the, the login screen for the website. I'm going to go ahead and get logged in. So this whole process starts. We need uh, two main plugins. One of them is going to be the Big Boom directory. So now I'm on the plugins page. I'm going to say add new. And over here in the search field, I'm going to do Big Boom directory. Here we go. So we're going to click install. And that'll take just a second. Once it's installed, we're going to click activate. Uh, notice that there's going to be a new icon that shows up over on the left right here. It's got a little red, our little logo on there. The other plugin that we want to add is advanced custom fields. And this is also a free plugin. Also known as ACF. So here's advanced custom fields. We're going to install it. There is a paid version of this, but uh, everything that we're going to be looking at is covered with the free version. So we're going to activate those, those two plugins. Okay, and that one shows up actually at the very bottom left right here under custom fields. So now that the plugin is installed, we're going to go into the directory. And the directory plugin essentially lets you create what's called a custom post type. So much like we have posts right here that let us do blog posts, we're going to create basically a new bucket of content. And so I'm going to say create a new post type. We're going to call this, this custom post type species. Okay. Um, scroll down just a little bit and we've got some options here. We've got singular label, meaning um, what is one post called? And so um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So since this is the same for both, I'm just going to put that in there. Uh, it lets us order by a specific way. So we're going to just leave that as post title, um, ascending, post per page. Let's go ahead and say 10. It's kind of a standard. Under the uh, the advanced, we can come in here and we can change some things about how it gets created. Um, we're going to go ahead and change from, from BBD, which stands for Big Boom Design, post type 297. We're going to change that and we're just going to make it species. And then all the rest of the stuff we're going to leave how it is. We've got some info about the, the REST API, which is now built into WordPress. We can exclude this custom post type from searches. We could, for instance, uh, order it a certain way. And then we can also choose the icon that shows up. And so right now, it's just going to use our standard uh, post icon. And then this section where we, we're going to basically create a field set that we attach to it, we're going to come back to this a little bit later. And then down here, we've got some options as far as um, how the fields get displayed. We use this plugin a lot of times for building out business directories. So we have this thing for auto detecting URLs and social media fields and things like that. But we're gonna scroll back to the top and we're gonna click publish. So this is gonna create a new custom post type over here on the left. There we go, we've got species right there. Now if I go into species, there's nothing in here yet because it's set, again, it's just like a regular post category and we haven't created any species posts inside of this custom post type. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create a number of fields that are going to get attached to it. So I'm going to come in here to custom fields. And fields are grouped into field groups. And so I'm going to say we're going to create a new one. And these are going to be species fields. And now what we need to do is create a number of fields. And so I'm going to create a few and then I'll, I'll pause the video and create the rest and then we'll pick back up. So I have over here another tab, which is our Excel document that contains all of our different information. So again, we're building out a directory, and so we've got, um, we need to figure out what the post name is going to be. And so in this case, it's going to be the individual species. And then all of these others are going to go in as individual custom fields. So because of that, we don't actually need to create a custom field 
for the name because that's going to be just the post name. But we do need to create one, for instance, for formal name. So I'm going to copy that. And we'll come over here and I'm going to add a new field. And the field label is going to be formal name, actually. Let's put it in there properly. Okay. Um, all I did there was click down into the field name, and this is what's gonna this is gonna get automatically created, and it basically just removes the spaces from your your field label. We have a lot of different ways to create fields, and so there's a lot of different options. But for this, it's just gonna be a text field. Some of these others might be text area or image, things like that. But for this one, it's just gonna be text. There's not any instructions. It's not required. There's no default values. So all the rest of this is just gonna be left how it is. So I can create one more. Let's see what our next one is color. So we'll create color. Again, that gets automatically created. It's just a text field. We've got grain. That's going to be our third. And you get the idea. We're basically just creating all of the different fields that need to get attached to it. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video real quick. I'm going to create the rest of these fields, and then we'll pick back up. Okay, I've created all of my field sets. I've got 13 of them so far. I jump back into the video because I want to show you that this next one that we're going to create is not a standard text field. And so this one, I'm going to say add a field, and this is going to be image. And in this case, from this drop-down menu, I'm going to select image under content. And this is going to be the equivalent of our featured image for that one. It's just sometimes a little bit easier to have a, a field that's separate from the featured image to um, manipulate that specifically. Okay, so we've got all these fields in here. And so now the next thing that we need to do is we need to associate the two together. We have to tie the field set to the post type that we created. And so down here it says under rules, we want to say show this field group if the post type is equal to species and this is why we changed the name from the bbd underscore pt underscore that number it's just easier to spot the um, the slug for that post type if it's if it's labeled correctly so we've done that so we've said you know if the post type that we're creating is equal to species then show that particular field group um, there's really nothing else down here that we need to do i'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way back to the top you can see all those fields that i created and i'm going to click publish it's going to collapse all of these, and so now we can see, we can look over what's going on here. So we have formal name, color, grain, workability, physical properties, uses, machining, so on and so on and so on. And at the end, we've got that image. Now, if we wanted to rearrange these, we can. We can just drag and drop and move these around. Okay. So now that we've done that, if we go now over to our species, our custom post type, and we add a new species, we should now get, we've got our first, uh, we've got the, the, the post name. And so I'm going to go ahead and pick this very first one, which is Alder. And I'm going to plug in Alder there. We've got our standard description that we would see inside of a, a regular post. And then down here, down below, we have all of our individual fields that we created. So we've got formal name. And then some of these I created as... Um, text areas because they've got a little bit more content so I'm just going to go through and I'll do a few of these and you get the idea here that we'll just uh, basically paste in and we do have an importer plugin but for the purpose of this I'm just going to uh, copy and paste a few of these and I would go through and I would just create each one of these and so again I'm going to pause the video real quick and go ahead and get all these populated in okay I've created all the uh, I've added all the content into these different fields and so now down at the bottom, I've got add image. So I'm going to click add an image. And I've got this folder open right here that I can go ahead and just go ahead and drop one of these wood grains into it. There we go. I can select that image, and that's going to get attached to it as well. So I've created my first post inside of the species post group, post type. And so now I'm going to go all the way up and click publish. And there's one last thing that we need to do. And essentially, there's a couple different views. So if we say view species, 
we don't have any content yet. And that's because we've laid out a view section where we can determine which fields show up where. And what I mean by that is if we go in and we edit this post type, and I mentioned this before when we first created the post type, that we would need to go back in here. And now that we've got a field set attached, we can come down here and we can say, we want to show these certain fields on certain views. So there's two main views with, with WordPress posts. There's an archive view, which is kind of the equivalent of the category page. And then there's the single post view. And so that's the individual species. So you can check that box and it's basically saying on the category view, what do you want to show? And on the single post, what do you want to show? Well, on the single post, I know for a fact, I want to show everything. So I'm just going to check all these boxes. But then on the category view, we probably only want to show, let's say the formal name, the color, and the image. And we can go back in and change those later. But I'm going to set all of those, and then I'm going to come up to the top and update that. And so you do that on the, on the settings section for that particular post that you're working with. Okay, so now if I go back into posts, oops, I'm sorry, if I go into the species post type, and if I view that particular species that we added, we should have all of those fields. There we go. It's looking pretty good. Again, you can rearrange these fields, and so the drag and drop feature inside of Advanced Custom Fields will let us shuffle this stuff up. So I'll probably pull this image up towards the top, uh, and we're going to attach different images to each one of these and so on. But that's essentially it. That's the, uh, the basics of how to create a custom post type using the Big Boom directory plugin. And you can create as many custom post types as you might want to. Uh, you can have, we've got just, you know, some sites that have five or six up to 10 different custom post types plugged in there. And sometimes it's just nice to be able to organize your content into different buckets the way that you would with categories. But this essentially kind of isolates that specific content so that in this case, we have a full blown species content type. And then we've also got the, the top level species page. And so again, those are the fields that we decided to list out. Um, the author and the date name, we can hide those with CSS or with whatever theme we're using. Uh, and that's it. And so we'll have this custom post type available as well as the field set for, for, for a free download. Um, but again, the, the Big Boom directory, it's, it's, intention, it's, a, it's intended to be used to create any kind of custom post type that you might want to. And so we've done this for uh, businesses, member directories, beer directories for breweries, all kinds of stuff. So um, feel free to, to download it and give it a shot. Thanks. Uh, you can find more at bigboomdesign.com.